Hello lovely people and welcome you once again to Bright and Clara's channel. Thank you all for clicking. This is episode 12 on the Empire's Project. Alright, so we are back at the Empire's Project. A lot is happening and I'm here to share all the details with you. So back it up and let's dive in. So in your view is a 3D representation of the beautiful four bedroom house. It comes with a hidden roof, okay, a two car pod garage, a kitchen, a dining, a living area, a laundry, and a storeroom. Okay, so these are the basic amenities in this particular design. Okay, it's a four bedroom, two pod garage, kitchen, laundry, storeroom and living area all right so so far so good um in episode 11 you saw the startup of the ramping okay so ramping is done neatly well compacted this is the garage area it's a two-port garage area okay the plumbers are also doing all their piping work this is a um, kitchen terrace so it has to be a step down here do the drainage pipe so that is a drainage pipe all right and then you enter via a corridor and then come to the kitchen so that's our plumber mr sunny ibrahim a very renowned plumber okay mr sunny ibrahim is specialized in plumbing and if you need his services kindly let me know and then i will share his contact with you Again, if you need someone to do your borehole drilling, please do not hesitate to contact my cousin, Mr. Jonathan Amwa. He does borehole drilling, reverse osmosis, and sales of all kinds of pumps. All right. So here, um, Madam Bridget um, is checking everything with Mr. Dade, who is the foreman for all our projects. So they are cross-checking everything is, everything is okay yeah so so far so good um i think everything looks nice mm, everything looks nice the steel benders are also preparing the ground beams okay all the partitions will have their ground beams okay there's no area left every partition has a ground beam and this will protect the building from future um, settling if the build, building is settling down because most houses settle down after a period of time because that is when the weight of the building is established the roofing and everything has gone on top and so the building will now settle down finally and in that process the ground beams are there to protect to do any suspension you understand yes so that's Madame Bridget in your view mm, very vigilant okay she doesn't joke at all she's checking everything making sure everything is in order okay so that's my big sister i come after her okay i admire her so much and i'm so proud of her i'm so proud of her okay all right so so far so good ramping um i think the ramping was paused here because they were doing a recording so they didn't want the machine to make a noise. <laughs> yeah. So that's it. Mm. I, I, my sister can read drawings. She understand because I groomed her. And even from her infant, our dad made us go into construction. You know, so we understand. I remember me and my brother Maoli, we will help all the laborers. Uh, we will help the masons to do all the concrete works. Um, Madam Bridget and my mom, they will be fetching water, okay, and when Bridget is done, Bridget will help us, we will be carrying the headpans and Bridget will be scooping the mortar or the concrete into the headpans and we were all involved and we, in our daddy's house, we could read the drawing and you know, anything that we don't understand, we will ask the masons. So that is how come we all find ourselves in the construction industry. We have so much understanding and we took responsibility from the early stage of life. Our daddy made us, 
you know, understand that you have to work with your hands. And it was a military training in our house. And that has made us so strong, so determined, and very honest in everything that we do. You understand? So I'm, I'm proud of myself, proud of my brothers and sisters. And I'm, I'm so happy and I honor my late father for all the training he had given us. So from here, the next thing to do is um, the carpenter coming to do the oversight facial. And prior to that, the steel benders, as you saw earlier on, will be doing the ground beams. Now, these piping works that you've seen, this is how it is done. With all the slopes in them, you understand? All the slopes have been positioned in such a way that once we cast concrete, that's it. So the plumber would have to do all these. These are things that you don't usually see, you understand? And all these pipes are pressure pipes. All these pipes are pressure pipes. We have rain gutters going to the roof because it's a hidden roof. Okay, so we have to do all those rain gutters. Okay, very, very important. Very, very important. Okay. So we take key interest in ensuring that everything goes very well. And you can see that our house, the footings alone is almost half of those buildings over there. Because of the nature of this particular area, we have to raise our footings that high. Okay, yes, it cost me a lot, but for me, every stage is a learning process. Every stage is a learning process. I learn from every project and so hopefully next time when I'm preparing another estimate I, I improve I improve in every step of it you understand yes so so far this is what we have now all plumbing works done with their end caps end caps are very important to avoid any foreign object from falling into it that will cause any blockage our DPM 300 MU it has been taped off we taped all of them okay the carpenter has also done the facial boarding are you with me still benders done all their ground beams as you see so wherever there's a blog work there is a ground beam understand and that gives a good suspension okay that gives a good suspension in case of any earth tremor Whatever the ground shakes, it will not affect the structure. And should there be any crack, it will not travel all the way up. You understand? Yes. So everything has been solidly done. You see the DPM, we have taped them so that we don't have water or it lifting when they are moving. You understand? So the foreman, Mr. Dade and Madam Bridget, they checked everything to ensuring that on the day of casting, they don't have any issue. So this is the facial boarding. Okay, and this boarding has been set to six inches level, and that gives the mason the gauge to cast the oversight concrete. Okay, so the carpenter will have to pull a rope and set the gauge for the oversight concrete casting. And then the DPM is also overlapping the block work. Standardly is by six inches, but in order not to waste DPM, you can overlap it by four inches. Okay, you can overlap the DPM over the block work by four inches. All right, so the facial boarding done neatly. Okay, so that's Mr. Dade in the red shirt and Madam Bridget over there. You understand? Checking if everything is okay. We are using river sand okay and casting this oversight because of the quality we are looking for okay and you notice that all the ground areas we've we've actually made sure there's gravel around the footings to avoid any future water from coming nearer to the footings okay all these have been done in preparedness for any future occurrences all right it looks beautiful Mm, it looks beautiful. 
And so here we have Samuel Edu, who is telling us the straightness of all the work he's done. He's a carpenter. All right, I think it looks nice. Mm. I'm just amazed looking at it. <laughs> so I went to a quiet mode for a minute because I'm just amazed. It's beautiful. You can see that all the block work is covered. There's no area that is open to the block. And so probably even on the day of casting, I did ask them to patch everywhere they have any hole. They should patch it so that they don't have any access of the concrete touching the blog work okay so here we are mm, it looks beautiful i think we even ran out of the dpm on the far end so they have to do that on the, the following day you understand and that is not a big deal so casting the oversight it's going to take two days to do this oversight two days mm, two days so everything is done checked and signed off and so the machine will be ready there should be water there is cement we are using jata cement 42.5 r um, three quarter stones and river sand okay that is what we are using so river sands are very good and when you step on the oversight slab you will notice the quality okay yes the quality is good and then also we are using what approved chemical which is the vitalia okay and that's it so all the areas we have our ground beams okay all areas ground beam and the ground beam is done in rectangle not even a triangle it's a rectangle okay it's proper here we are going to position that one properly it's not yet done yet okay so this area we run short of the DPM, so hopefully they will do that before the casting gets completed. Okay, everywhere we have the ground beams. Okay, so this house will be taller than all the other houses in this area, um, especially those with a single story. This house will be taller than all of them. The footings is high. Should there be any heavy downpour? He will never be affected okay he will never be affected so yeah so far so good um if you love this video please give it a thumbs up my name is mr bright i'm the ceo of bnc constructions limited if you need my services please do not hesitate to reach out to me via whatsapp number okay yes and then we'll take it from there i prepare estimate at the fee and once you make payment i'll proceed and do your estimate for you from me to you, Shalom. God bless you wherever you are. Bye-bye.